One of the lovely features we've now got back in Audition CS6 is the ability to use multiple clipboards. And I'll show you how this works. I'm going to double click in the files panel here and import this drink WAV file. Let's open that up. That's in the audio files part of the project files. And let's just take a little listen to this. Drink to me only with thine eyes, and I will pledge with mine. Or leave a kiss within the cup, and I'll not ask for wine. Drink to me only. So this is a famous poem, part of Ben Jonson's Song to Celia, I think it is. And let's say, just for experimental purposes, let's say I'm going to take this section here. I'm just going to use my scroll wheel to zoom in a little bit. I've got the word cup here. Cup. Okay. And maybe I'm just going to select this with my eye beam. Let's have a listen. Cup. And okay. And I'm going to check under my edit menu. And I'm going to choose set current clipboard. And I'm going to make sure I'm on clipboard number one. And you can see that there's a keyboard shortcut here. This would be command one on a Mac. I'm on a PC now, so it's control one. And all I have to do is press command or control C. And I've copied that word. If I just skip to the end of my audio here and press command or control V, I'm going to get that word again. Cup. And again, cup. And again, drink to me, if I go to the end, cup, there we go. So, but what if I want to take a different part of the audio? Here I've got this section where the voice is saying, for wine, for wine, cup. So if I select this audio and now I'm going to copy it, but I'm going to copy it into a different clipboard. So I'll go into the menu so you can see me do it. Normally I would use the keyboard shortcut. I'm going to choose clipboard number two. This time again, I'm going to press Control or Command C. Of course, I could also go to the edit menu and choose copy here. I'm going to go to the end. I'm pressing the end key on my keyboard. And now when I press Control V for wine, I've got that different selection, which you would expect. So now I've got cup for wine. Okay, it's not uh, perfect timing, but you get the gist. If I press Control or Command V again, let's zoom out a bit, I'm going to get that audio again. But here's the magic of multiple clipboards. If I now press Control or Command 1, or if I go to the Edit menu and choose Set Current Clipboard and choose number 1, now when I paste, I get the word cup. Cup. So I can use up to five clipboards to store different pieces of audio that I want to combine to produce a new waveform. Now this feature will not work in the multi-track display. If I switch over to multi-track, and I'll just temporarily make a new session here. Let me call this empty session. Okay. You'll notice if I go to the edit menu that this uh, set current clipboard option is grayed out. I can't use it. This feature is just for the waveform display, but it's a very powerful one. Control or command one, two, three, four, five, and you can put different pieces of your audio to combine across multiple waveform clips if you want.